good morning everyone this is an extension of the video i had uploaded on the rcd residual current device here i would like to add a couple of points you have to keep in mind on the use of rcd which are actually some drawbacks of rcd if you are new to the concept of rcd i suggest you to watch my video on rcd operation in my channel In that video, I had explained how an RCD is connected. An RCD needs connection from both line and neutral on both the supply side and the load side. An RCD senses the difference between the line and neutral currents and shuts down the supply if the difference is more than say 30 milliampere because the RCD interprets this difference as a leakage current which could be potentially passing through a person's body. However, here comes one shortcoming of RCD. What happens if there is a short circuit between the line and neutral? Uh, a short circuit is actually a direct connection between line and neutral. As you can imagine, RCD doesn't offer any protection in this case. Because in the case of a short circuit, the line and neutral currents are still the same. And so RCD has no reason to trip. But so we have to make sure that the circuit is isolated in the case of a short circuit. Otherwise, there will be the wire, the, the wire will be damaged and there could be even a fire. So in this case, an RCD alone cannot be used to protect a circuit against short circuit. So here there are two options for us. One option is to connect a circuit breaker in series to the RCD in the line which will protect the circuit in case of a short circuit. Whereas RCD will protect from earth falls. This is especially used if there are more than one circuits that are protected by a single RCD, in which case each outgoing circuit that is protected by the RCD must be protected by its own circuit breaker. Please view my upcoming video on wiring RCD to learn more about this. Another option is to use a special RCD called RCBO which stands for Residual Current Breaker with Overcurrent Protection, which combines both the functions of RCD and an overcurrent device like circuit breaker. Another problem with RCD is that it is subject to nuisance trips. That is because, as we have seen, an RCD trips if there is a leakage current of just 30 milliampere, which is a very small current. Some amount of leakage may be always present in any circuit, which may sometimes cause the RCD to overreact. Moreover, transient conditions like lightning too may cause small imbalances in the circuit, which causes RCD to trip. Or another reason can be that the RCD itself is faulty. So generally RCD are used only for those circuits that are likely to come into contact with people like bathroom and kitchen socket outlets, water heaters, water pumps, water coolers and so on. It is not a good idea to put lights on RCD protected circuits because you will be left in the dark if the circuit trips. Uh, due to uh, the above problems. Also generally equipment such as refrigerators, freezers and some pumps for which a power outage can be costly should not be placed on a RCD protected circuit for the same reason. 